Introducing the Chin Pin, the newest and easiest way to troll a circle hook. Hi, my name is Patrick Lynch. I'm here today to introduce the Chin Pin, the easiest way to rig a ballyhoo on a circle hook. With me today is Captain Jack Callion, the inventor of the Chin Pin. Jack, show him how to rig one. Let me tell you a little about the Chin Pin. The Chin Pin is the easiest way to rig a circle hook for trolling. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna size up the ballyhoo's bill. We're gonna break the bill off just behind the loop. Okay, right there. We're gonna take the chin pin, we're gonna find the center section of the head, and we're gonna push the chin pin dead center, like that. Okay, I fold open the gill plate. I take the stainless wire, I run it through the gill plate and out the eye socket, like that. Okay, pull that taut. Okay, the next step is to take the stainless wire and pass it through the eye sockets over the top one time. Pull it down taut. Make sure your pin stays centered. Take the ballyhoo, flip it over. Put the wire back through the eye sockets again, this time on the bottom side. And that locks it in place. For good measure, we're gonna go through one more time. Pull it taut. Okay, from there, we'll flip over the chin pin, make sure everything's all secure, and we'll wrap it over the ballyhoo's bill all the way to the end of the chin pin and then back on itself. That's it. There you go, it's done. You now take your circle hook that's already tied onto your rod, stick the loop through the chin pin, rotate it to where the barb goes over the open gap of the chin pin, and you're fishing. Okay, that's it. That's the chin pin. That's how easy it is. It's the simplest thing in the world. Now, if you want to add a skirt to it, let me show you how that's done. Okay, we'll take off our circle hook. Just get a regular trolling skirt. Slip it right over the ballyhoo. Make sure it's perfectly straight. Then we reinstall the hook and you're fishing. The chin pin can be used with either circle hooks or straight hooks, you know, J hooks if you like. You know, of course, circle hooks are a thing of the future. This Consider this a green rig because circle hooks are being utilized. And at Bionic Bait, I'm getting more and more requests for pre-rigged ballyhoo on circle hooks. As everybody knows, you know, in tournaments now you have to use a circle hook in any billfish tournament. He came to me with the idea and it works incredible. We, take, we took it out, we tested it, the fish swim like they're alive. You can't shake the ballyhoo off, There's, there'll be no Sancocho. The thing works amazing. All right, I've showed you how we rig the chin pin, now let me show you how it swims. The center of pull, off the ballyhoo makes for a bait that swims true and never spins. Other circle hook rigging systems that I've seen, they, they work, but they pull out of the fish very, very easy. Even just in a rough sea, the fish will, will tear out of the rig. With the chin pin, you can't beat these fish off. They stay on. There's also no holes, uh, there's, there's no breaches in the ballyhoo's stomach, so the ballyhoo lasts forever. There's no blowout. The chin pin works. Well, that's all there is to it. That's how you rig the chin pin. That's gotta be one of the slickest rigs I've ever seen. We're gonna be installing these chin pins in our ballyhoo pre-rig, and you'll also be able to buy them in, in one of your bait and tackle stores. Think of the time it's gonna save your crew by using the chin pin. They're also great for dredges. Pop on 12 in about 30 seconds.